it's Mezzy from Mezzy and Frank. Today I'm just going to show you um, how easy our crackle medium is to use. So um, I've got my piece laid down this way only because the crackle's runny. The, when you paint it's fine but you have to have your piece flat for the crackle so it's better not to shake your crackle so I'm just going to give it a little stir. It's just so easy. You slap it on really nice and thick and because I'm messy messy <laughs> the more uneven the better. You get you get a really um, beautiful texture if the crackle is nice and thick and not even all over and the beauty of our crackle is that it's ready to re it's ready to paint as soon as it's dry but it's active for about four or five hours so you can come back to it later and put your top coat on so you can do this between coats of paint but also um, i'm doing it straight on to this varnished piece it doesn't work on raw timber because the crackle soaks straight into the timber and um, it's not sitting on the surface because it cracks the next coat of the next coat that you put on so I've got I'm putting it thick in the corners so it crackles a lot in in those areas and then I'm going to um, leave it for about an hour and come back and check on it and it just depends on the weather as well um, it's hot and windy today so it'll probably be ready in an hour so that's it So now I'm just going to um, apply the paint. The crackle is all dry and so now we're just going to put the paint on and um, again thick. So and the thing with the crackle is you can't play with it too much because it's still active underneath so I can't do much more than that otherwise I'll start pulling the crackle off so nice and thick and be generous because you'll and look I'm not even covering the whole everything and there's a bit of a drip there but that adds to the effect so again we're having messy messy at work <laughs> where the paint is really thick it's going to crackle where it's thin it won't crackle as much so generous i like generous when you start but and you don't have to be even that's what you're trying to um, with this real shabby chic look i want it to be messy I'm going to sand it after this um, and you can it's starting to crackle there already So this is a really, really fun thing for those people who, um, like me, are a little bit messy. The messier the better. And it's crackling as we speak. And you'll see where it's really thick here and I've 
put a lot of paint, it's going to really um, crackle a lot there. And you can see just here, I've come back and tried to paint over the top and I've moved the crackle a bit, but it doesn't really matter because I'll just sand that area a little bit more. But starting to look fabulous. I'm going to lightly sand it and, and a little bit wherever I want and then I'm just going to mix some white haven with our wax and white wax it so it gives it another layer without another layer of paint which you can probably see on the drawers a bit. <laughs> 